Okay, so welcome back everyone. And guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to Come for me, Cubal. I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Hey, you. Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Ah! Rixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? Okay. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. What about your insurance policy? There ain't no insurance policy. After tonight, I'm tossing it in the furnace and burning it up. Come on, Trixie, can't you tell me what happened out there? No! Then at least give me the evidence you got on Kid. No, I made a deal with myself. As soon as tonight's set is over, the evidence goes up in smoke. Uh. Break a leg out there. Thanks. I think I'll go outside now. Party? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this the little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees crying and begging for McFly's life! So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Huh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Yep, okay. Uh... So where do I go now? Um... Okay, I know just the thing. Welcome back, sir. Wasn't matches down here just now? Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. Nice job. Now go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. Okay. Good. Sorry about this, Dad. Uh. 
Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was uh, awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. Okay, so Kid spared Artie's life, but that doesn't make him a saint. Believe me, no one knows that better than me. But if Kid can let Artie off the hook, I guess I can let him off the hook. Know what I mean? Uh, I think it's this one. About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? Uh... I think something bad might have happened to him. What? You mean Kid went back on his promise? Uh, yeah. Uh, that's right. Oh no! Oh, poor Artie! Poor sweet little Artie! I know. That rattlesnake kid! He can't get away with this! You gonna turn over the evidence you got against him? Am I ever! Just watch me! Wait a minute! What evidence do you have that kid bumped Artie off? Um, it's just a hunch. Keep your hunches for the racetrack! It ain't nice to get a girl all worked up over unsubstantiated rumors! Um... Where's the button to look at Break the a leg out there. Thanks. I don't know what the button is to look at the wall. Hey, Danny. Hey, you know, uh, I don't think I ever caught your name. I never threw it, and now I'm not sure I should, what with you being an upstanding member of the police force again. Fair enough. I think I owe you a little anonymity. Just don't step out of line on my watch, you hear? Loud and clear, Officer Parker. Still ready to arrest Tannen? Ready and willing. Cool. Hang tight. I'll see what I can come up with. Uh, I don't remember what to do. I'll See you soon, Danny. Things. Take care, buddy. Hint. Oh, right, right. I didn't talk to him about what the Wall of Fame actually is. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? I'll have a drink. What's your poison? Pepsi. Uh, on second thought, forget it. Suit yourself. Um... So about this, uh, portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <coughs> the caricatures <coughs> hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having ticked off one Irving Kid Tannen. They're the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like, and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a what do you call it? A, a circumstantial coincidence. Yeah. Huh. What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Um. Do you know what happened to Trixie out there? She seems pretty freaked out. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about Trixie's emotional state. Kid doesn't pay me nearly enough to pour drinks and babysit his crazy girlfriends. So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. Oh yeah, right, sorry. Wrong guy. Um, I'm just playing around with my phone. Nah, that that's okay. I think I can. Thanks for the talk. Now. Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. Well, it seems like one so boring in here. Uh, Trixie? Yeah. I. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be... safe! I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting... 
And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of Kid's books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Kid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! Would the Valenti mob be willing to help, uh, defuse this little situation? Sure, no problem. I'll bring it up in the next, uh, company meeting. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean... Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, do I click this? I'll click this. Uh, never mind. Don't worry. Okay. We've got the entire town square sealed off. If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. Um, I think that there is just one website, so I'll see you guys next time. And bye-bye.